G'day, welcome to Audio Trends. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up a Riga RP3 turntable. Here's our turntable. We've already unpacked it, and it's got an Autophorn 2M Blue cartridge already fitted. When you're unpacking yours though, make sure that you've got all the pieces. Firstly, we have the platter. Secondly, the plinth. Here we can see the spindle, the belt, and the tone arm. The small pulley at the top is for 33, the bottom is for 45. The counterweight is hidden away in a piece of foam, so check it all carefully. Our first step is to put the platter onto the spindle. Secondly, make sure that the tracking force control adjustment is set to zero. The anti-skate or bias adjustment is all the way out, and the stylus guard is off. Be careful of the fragile stylus tip at this stage. Any knocks and it may be damaged. Carefully slide the counterweight onto the back of the tone arm until the arm is balanced or floating. Not rising, not falling. Once it's floating, clip the arm back down into place. It's time to set the weight. I'm going to set this at 1.75. Now this is set, you have to set the anti-skate to the same value. The first notch you see is two, the second is one. Therefore, 1.75 is a wee bit further out than the first notch you see. Simple. All we have to do is plug in RCA cables into the phono input, the compatible amplifier, put the power into the wall, choose the record, and enjoy your new turntable.